Hi guys, so today I just want to speak a little bit about the new Xbox One X. One of the biggest moments at E3 this year was the reveal of the Xbox One X, the world's new most powerful console. Boasting impressive specs and the ability to render images in native 4K, the Xbox One X certainly did have the attention of gamers across the board. The console, however, has elicited a somewhat mixed response from gamers, and rightfully so if you ask me. There are those who are excited for the new console and cannot wait to get their hands on it, and then there are those who believe that releasing such a console at this point in a console life cycle is rather odd. The Xbox One X outperforms the original Xbox One by a large margin, and due to this fact comes with quite a hefty price tag. Quite simply, many gamers feel that the Xbox One X and the factors surrounding it doesn't do enough to justify purchasing it. So why are some gamers so skeptical about the new console? In attempting to answer this question, I came across four regularly stated reasons that most gamers seem to argue when discussing the console. Now, number one, the console's high price. The Xbox One X will be retailed at $499, a price that many gamers suggest is way too high for a console that is meant to be a mid-generation upgrade. Now, you'll find a lot of people suggest that you could probably build a gaming PC at that price, but in some countries you would probably be lucky to get a mid-range laptop. At least that is the case where I live. The fact remains though that it has been almost 4 years since the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 were first released. Most gamers are now beginning to look forward towards the next full generation upgrade and may be willing to rather hold out for that or even building a PC than buying an Xbox One X or PS4 Pro. It is also important to remember that the big selling point of the Xbox One X is the fact that you can play games in 4K. This doesn't mean that you need a 4K TV to use it, but what is the use of buying it if you don't own a TV that allows you to enjoy its main feature? In such a situation, I would rather save up for the TV first and then get the console. Perhaps even by that time, the Xbox One X has already been replaced. I know Microsoft has come out and said that it will play games better on all the 1080p televisions as well, but you know what? Is the difference so much bigger to warrant buying a new console? The second point is that the Xbox One X has no exclusives of its own. Now a lot of gamers do feel that with the price that Microsoft is asking for the Xbox One X and the specs that they are toting around, the console should have some exclusives of its own. The term exclusive in this sense refers to a game that you won't be able to play on the original Xbox One, regardless of whether it is a multi-platform title, meaning that it may also be playable on the PS4 Pro but not the original PS4, or a title that is only playable on the Xbox One X itself. This is also a problem that plagues the PS4 Pro, one can witness this in the fact that the standard PS4 is still outselling the PS4 Pro. It kind of means that people aren't finding enough reason to want the more expensive console. Some gamers do feel that it is a massive problem that neither of these two consoles have their own games as it depletes any reason to buy these new pieces of hardware. Look, at the end of the day, people are buying consoles to play games, and if these same games are playable on all versions of the system, what reason is there to buy the newest version of the system? One could make the argument for 4K gaming, but this is hardly a feature that is attractive enough for most gamers to begin considering an upgrade. I mean, if people were so concerned about 4K gaming, I think a lot more people would have converted to PC gaming years ago. Number 3. Power is not a substitute for good exclusives. Now, on the idea of exclusives, I have seen it suggested in quite a few social media platforms that Microsoft chose to compensate the lack of worthwhile exclusive games on their system by creating an exceedingly powerful console. Although Microsoft did showcase a lot of new exclusive games at their E3 conference, a lot of gamers were quick to point out that most of these games will also largely be available for Windows as well. Then there was also the fact that many were disappointed that none of the newly revealed exclusive games seemed to be an overly ambitious AAA type title that would appeal to the vast majority of the gaming community. I know there was Crackdown 3, State of Decay 2, and Sea of Thieves, but these were already known to be in development, so they don't really count that much. 
There are so many hugely popular exclusives on the PS4 that have the ability to edge your decision towards buying a PS4 over an Xbox One, particularly if you already own a gaming PC. Some gamers do believe that Microsoft made a huge mistake in revealing the Xbox One X without a game that was similar in a vein to Horizon Zero Dawn or Uncharted or even Halo, because those are generally the games that shift consoles. Number 4. It will not only be held back by the original Xbox One and PS4, but the PS4 Pro too. One cannot deny that the general gaming public does view the Xbox One X as Microsoft's newest plan in attempting to turn the tide of the console sales. It is no secret that the PlayStation 4 is outselling the Xbox One at a ratio that is almost 3 to 1. For all the power that the Xbox One X has, some developers have already noted that having to ensure that titles are playable on the original Xbox One and PS4, as well as even the PS4 Pro, has held them back somewhat in using the full capabilities of the console. If most developers are truly never able to make the most of the Xbox One X's capabilities, then is it really worth getting it? A lot of gamers don't seem to think so. Even with all of this said, it will be very interesting to see how the Xbox One X fares when it is eventually released. Although there does seem to be a mixed response to the console at the moment, a very different situation may be apparent when it is actually available to purchase. A very recent example of such a case was perhaps with the Nintendo Switch, which a lot of gamers seem to dismiss when it was first announced. Personally, I am rather undecided on whether to buy an Xbox One X or not. I do own a 4K television and just quite simply love new hardware, but I can perhaps see myself waiting for the next generation of consoles to be released as well, or perhaps even building a better gaming PC. I do want to know though, are you thinking of buying an Xbox One X? Are there any reasons as to why you think people should or shouldn't buy it? Please share in the comments down below, and if you like this video, please remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.